by Mayor Adams is nothing short than stunning. That crisis is not going to end unless and until Joe Biden enforces the laws of the United States. Thousands are getting ready to say their final farewells to slain NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. The Take Our Border Back convoy says it'll be calling on the government to address the crisis at the border. How we are treating people with the dignity and respect that he should have shown as well. Aiding and abetting. Appearing on Fox News Sunday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott continued a back and forth spat with New York City Mayor Eric Adams over Abbott's busing of migrants from the Lone Star State to the Big Apple, which is a sanctuary city. On Thursday, Adams, a Democrat, offered the Republican governor a complimentary stay at a migrant shelter during his trip to headline the New York Republican Party's annual gala. On Sunday, Abbott responded by calling Adams' invitation a gimmick and said he should focus on his own city. The governor also insisted that President Joe Biden's policies forced his hands to bus migrants to New York and other sanctuary cities. Our country is being invaded in ways that put our country at risk because of the political games that Joe Biden has played, Abbott told host Martha McCallum. And Mayor Adams is just aiding and abetting that by having a sanctuary city status, welcoming anybody from across the world to live there and stay there on the Bill of New York. He added, What Mayor Adams needs to do is stop talking boldly about immigration and the migrants Texas is sending there and step up and do his own job. By Mayor Adams, there's nothing short than stunning. And what I would suggest to the mayor of New York is there are people dying on his watch. We made clear by contacting his office and said we're not sending them to New York. That crisis is not going to end unless and until Joe Biden enforces the laws of the United States. Meanwhile, he has consistently feuded with Abbott about the migrant crisis. I'm going to offer him a stay in one of the HERRCs so he can see what he has created and understand how we are treating people with the dignity and respect that he should have shown as well. Adams said at a press conference when asked about Abbott's trip to the city. HERRCs refers to New York City's humanitarian emergency response and relief centers which are used to house migrants who arrive in the city. New York City has taken in more than 175,000 migrants and spent upward of $1.45 billion just in fiscal year 2023 to shelter, feed, and provide services to migrants. After nearly two years of fundraising to offset the cost of Abbott's busing program, which is largely paid for by taxpayers, CNN recently reported that Abbott raised around $550,000 at most, according to state records. This is only a drop in a bucket compared to the estimated $150 million it costs to run the program. In January, Abbott announced that over 100,000 migrants had been bused to sanctuary cities including New York City, Chicago, Denver, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and Los Angeles dating back to April 2022. Based on the payments made to private contractors so far, which CNN obtained through public records, it has cost roughly $1,500 to bust each migrant out of Texas. Adams has previously called Abbott morally bankrupt and a madman over his buzzing policies. In a letter last year to Abbott, outgoing Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Adams took aim at the Texas governor for resuming the busing of migrants to major cities. In the letter, Adams said Abbott is devoid of any concern for the well-being of asylum seekers. He also accused Abbott of targeting sanctuary cities run by black mayors and treating immigrants as political pawns. Denver Mayor Mike Johnston has said that Abbott shouldn't have to deal with migrants alone. I do understand why he's buzzing them. Johnston told Fox & Friends co-host Lawrence Jones in January. I think his, Abbott's, take is that no one state should have to carry the entire weight of this newcomer population. I think no one state should. And I think no one city should. Johnston, a Democrat, 
said he had reached out to the GOP governor in hopes of working together to deal with the influx of migrants crossing the border in Texas. During his remarks at the New York Republican Gala and on Fox News Sunday, Abbott hit out at Adams over issues in his own city, including taking Adams to task over the demise of Jonathan Diller, a New York Police Department NYPD officer slayed in the line of duty last month after being shot during a traffic stop in Queens. Thousands are getting ready to say their final farewells to slain NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. A bill, a lot to unpack tonight. Officer Diller was shot and killed just about a half block down from where we are. He was born to be a hero. He died being a hero. He died doing what he loved. Everyone part of the criminal justice system needs to get serious about doing their jobs. New York City has said there is no end in sight to the copious members of migrants and projects that an extended timeline of the current rate of migration means a cost to the city of approximately $12 billion by the 2025 fiscal year. Migrants arriving in New York City have received prepaid debit cards that appear to deliver twice as much to spend on essentials as other NYC welfare benefits. Adams has stressed the cards will cut 20% of the migrant costs in the city. Migrant Housing Jab Texas Governor Greg Abbott on Thursday rebuked New York City Mayor Eric Adams for jabbing his state's response to the ongoing border crisis. Governor Abbott visited NYC this week for the New York Republican Party's annual gala. Upon learning of the visit, Adams said he would offer the governor the opportunity to stay in one of the city's migrant shelters to see what he has created and understand how we are treating people with the dignity and respect he should have shown as well. You know, um, I'm going to offer him a stay in one of the Hercs. He offered him a free night stay in one of the shelters he has built for Joe's illegal immigrants. How we are treating people with the dignity and respect that he should have shown as well. Governor Abbott responded to the jab during an appearance in Fox News, as well as defended his decision to bus migrants arriving in Texas to sanctuary cities, such as NYC. There are people ending on his watch, the governor said. Law enforcement officers are being gunned down by people who have been arrested 20 times. He needs to take charge and make sure they keep behind bars dangerous criminals who are slaying his fellow New Yorkers. He went on by blasting the mayor's use of taxpayer dollars to house illegal migrants. New York State Governor Kathy Hochul previously asked state lawmakers to authorize $2.4 billion for migrant assistance. It is estimated NYC will spend $10.5 billion as a result of the crisis by the summer of 2025. During the gala, Governor Abbott reportedly also declared Texas will continue to bus migrants to sanctuary cities until we get a new president next November. Other states are beginning to crack down on buses that continue to deliver migrants near Denver, Colorado, and new ordinance in Douglas County could find those driving commercial vehicles for dropping off unscheduled groups of migrants. A driver who violates the county ordinance by dropping off passengers anywhere in the county without notice could receive a $1,000 fine. Language in the measure also suggests such an action could constitute a public nuisance, leading to legal citations. Vehicles seen dropping off unscheduled migrants' arrivals can also be seized. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has deployed thousands of state police officers and National Guard troops to Eagle Pass, a border town, to deter illegal border crossings. The park, once a site for ball games and flea markets, has become a focal point in the border crisis and political clashes between Republicans and the Biden administration. The Texas Department of Public Safety Lt. Christopher Olivares argues that the state doesn't want Border Patrol processing migrants in the park to prevent another influx. The state sees Shelby Park as a model for what the Texas border can be. Raul Ortiz, former chief of the U.S. Border Patrol under President Joe Biden, 
and former deputy chief under former President Trump, criticized Abbott for not cooperating with the Border Patrol and playing politics with immigration. Since then, thousands of migrants have been arrested and detained on trespassing charges. The Take Our Border Back convoy says it'll be calling on the government to address the crisis at the border. They're here to both tour the border, to tour what we're doing with the buoys in the border, as well as federal help and coordination with Texas over the growing number of asylum seekers arriving in their cities. As the president and his team continue working to deliver a historic bipartisan agreement on the border. The state has also spent over $150 million sending migrants on buses to cities like New York and Chicago turning the trouble at the border into a political and financial headache for Democratic mayors. Texas Governor Rick Abbott has committed over $100 billion to Operation Lone Star, despite a drop in illegal border crossings over the last three years. Former Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz expressed frustration with the federal government's infighting over immigration issues, arguing that Texas is weakening border security and supporting cartels and criminal organizations involved in smuggling. The Supreme Court has repeatedly ruled that border enforcement is the federal government's job, and some critics argue that Texas is creating and enforcing its own border policy. The Biden administration has carried out 4 million expulsions and deportations over the past three years but has also allowed the record 3 million people to remain in the country for years while their immigration cases are heard. The latest front in the battle between Texas and Washington is a new law authorizing Texas's more than 2,700 law enforcement agencies to arrest migrants for illegally crossing the border. Critics argue that the law is too broad and could lead to racial profiling. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.